Hello, my name is Matt Reese. I am the USAID Deputy Coordinator for the President's Trade Africa Initiative, as well as the Office Chief for the USAID Office of Regional Economic Integration, based here in Nairobi, Kenya. In my humble opinion, it's going quite well. You have to frame it in the context of how long equal or similar regional integration efforts have taken around the world, whether it be the EU or ASEAN or other trading blocs. Um, that said, the performance of the East African community is uh, pretty admirable. Already we have the Common Market Protocol, the Single Customs Territory, and the implementation of the, the Customs Act. So for our part, uh, looking what's been particularly achieved over the last uh, 18 to 24 months on implementation of the single customs territory uh, is bearing fruit and is a real thing. And that's uh, admirable both on the part of the EAC and the partner states realization that this is where their future lies for uh, more fully fledged economic growth. In policy formulation, which USAID has been assisting the EAC and key stakeholder groups on over the last, oh, since 2009, even before, I think we've done a great job. The policies that the EAC um, have harmonized and gazetted, for the most part, are pretty well informed by stakeholders, and those stakeholders being the private sector and civil society. However, policy formulation and development takes a long time. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an investment of, of generations of private sector. And as such, when these policies come into, into enforcement, um, there's always new actors in town, always new private sector uh, players looking to take advantage and looking to learn about what the common market needs to them. This is a key shift in how the Trade Africa initiative is looking to play a role in the area. We're holding consultations and meetings with private sector organizations in all five EEAC partner states to better ascertain what is the level of awareness of the policy environment and to hear firsthand from the private sector what are the key constraints that they face every day in their business models to doing business in, within the common market. So I think going forward this is going to be an excellent form over the next four years to work with the private sector to help serve as a conduit between the private sector's requirements, private sector opportunities, and the public sector's role to help enable that environment going forward. So a significant switch from policy development and gazetting to policy implementation and exercising the opportunities under the common market.